Welcome back to House Into Home. Today I am showing you guys the organization of the kitchen, which ended up being more of like a spring cleaning. And then if you guys are here strictly for house renovations, fast forward to the last, I would say two minutes of the video because I showed the completion of the stairs. If you guys are interested in any of the products that I used, I will be linking them down below in the video. The only thing I will say is the, we got clear containers for the kitchen. And the one thing I didn't love about them is that they're not stackable. So when I go to do the fridge, I'm gonna need more containers. I'm gonna be purchasing stackable containers. I hope you guys like it. Please like the video, share with your friends, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, House Into Home YT, um, which I'm gonna be doing a poll about butter after this goes live, because I wanna know how you guys store your butter. But thanks for following and hope you guys like it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna start with is this giant bag of rice, and I'm hoping that it fits into this giant glass container. Literally perfect. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this right now. I don't think that I wanna be storing stuff on the countertops, but if it is gonna be on the countertop, I want it to look kinda cute, which is why I went with this container here. These ones is it just pops right off and it's airtight so I don't have to worry about like unsnapping anything. So one of these fits three of these guys here. Save like every glass container that I can, to be honest with you. Bagel spice. Everything, everything but the bagel spice. And I have a ton of them. And I just realized now that I could store birthday candles in them. Hang out. And check this out. We're never gonna use it like that. Hey, I would like a candle. Hey, I would like another candle. How many candles do you need? <laughs> Here, have some more candles. <laughs> I'm gonna use another one for toothpicks as well. And when I went to Bulk Barn, I grabbed these and I put them into a bag, obviously. Oh, I so I'm just gonna keep it in that container now. So that's exciting. I ordered, I think, 24 of these guys here. Um, spice containers. This guy here. So this is an insert to go into the drawer and then the spices just sit on it. Like that. Came with their own labels but I didn't like the way they looked. So I ordered these ones of Amazon as well. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but it has a ton of different spices on there. Like one of them is Amchur powder. And I don't even know what that is. Also, they're numbered. So even if you don't use it, you can obviously save it and then add it later, but it's a really good way to, to be able to put the spices back where, where you found them. Good news, the spice jars do come with, or did come with this guy here. So you just pop it in. I guess, I don't know if you can take, oh, you can. So it's got a little plastic thing on it for like shaking your spices out or just dumping your spices. That comes right off. Just pop that in there and get your spices going. jumping into this drawer here. Basically this drawer was kind of like the overflow from our utensil drawer. So kitchen stuff, probably stuff that doesn't belong in here, like a thermometer, pens.
So I'm pretty happy with this. I'm gonna continue. This is a mess. So today I was actually just throwing stuff into it because I knew I was gonna be cleaning it. That's instant coffee, by the way. It's really not as bad as it sounds. Didn't we have a guest once and we offered him coffee and then he's like, what kind of coffee? And we said instant coffee. He's like, oh, no thanks. I think so. I get it. People that drink coffee um, typically have like their coffee that they prefer, but you have to actually drink it to kind of get it. Oh my God, I'm leaving. <laughs> say is pretty good as far as organization's concerned. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. I like to keep my butter in the cupboard. Oh my God. Um, how many of you prefer warm butter over cold butter? I hate cold. How many of you it keep butter in the cupboard and how many of you keep butter in the fridge? But I'm a fridge man myself. I wanna be clear, the butter doesn't last that long in the cupboard because we go through it so quickly because of how much we make rice. Mm -hmm. And we use the warmer butter because it- Melts quicker? In the rice. Yeah. And I have it on toast. And then the for bake, and then anytime I bake, I use it from here. And you make me make you cookies a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, maybe we can make some of those today. We can if you want to. All right. So I feel like this is messy. <laughs> like I feel like it's or it's an organized mess. So we're gonna have to revisit this. <laughs> this is not done. So over here. That's so satisfying. Yes. After the camera died, this is one thing I did do because I was a little bit nervous that this wasn't going to fit. So can you grab me that box actually? So this is an expandable cutlery organizer, drawer organizer. So this is its size. Oh, on the other side was its regular size here. And then you can expand it out and you get this here, which is really helpful. So the reason we have so much cutlery is because we use this cutlery on a day-to-day -day basis. And then this cutlery is for when people come over. And the reason is, is because I hate it when cutlery doesn't match. Nobody else notices probably. My hair is going like all over the, <laughs> it's so gross. It's okay, it adds flavor. Flavor to what? To the food when we use the pots to cook. That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, well. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put everything into this drawer that we don't typically use. Down here. Is a mess. Under the stove. Do you wanna open that really quick? Sure. So what I'm gonna do is in this small container here, I'm going to use it for medications. me reorganize the fridge let me know but I am done the kitchen and I wanted to say I think that this was more of a spring clean that I did as opposed to just an organization there was a lot of things that I didn't even know we had but let's get started this cupboard here we have oils ice like extra packages refills and here we have the big spice containers canned food down here is all baking I have so many of the baking powder because it's for the goat, so I actually need to take it out to the barn, but I just haven't done it yet. And then that's all baking stuff, birthday candles, cupcake holders back there. This is all pasta. I have to find somewhere to put the vinegar, breadcrumbs, pasta sauce. Over here, it still needs a little bit of work. 
Up top, I have all of our medicine stuff, snacks, more snacks, bread, and then this is all coffee stuff here, tea, hot chocolate. All the paper towels, napkins, anything baking related, casserole dishes, and then just the salad mixer. Coffee mugs, dessert plates, and dessert plates. Oh, and measuring cups there too. Top drawer, cutlery. So this is everything that I would need for like pots and stuff. And then these are the two we use the most, which is why they're here. They're the easiest to access. Down here, just more pots. For here, I don't think I showed you guys in here. So these are the bigger appliances that we use. Come over here. These are all the spices. Got some tongs back there. Odds and ends for opening things. Meat stuff, cheese grater, baking, and elastics. I probably can go somewhere else actually. We'll put the elastics down here. Ziploc bags, clear wrap, hot plates, scale, soaps. And this drawer was a doozy. So this is a Portuguese thing actually <laughs> for trees though, if you know, you know. And this is all gonna move again, you guys. I just Wanted to get it organized now. This is all gonna go into our back closet. We will have no animal stuff down here. When I do move all of it, this is going to be like composting stuff, which will be really, really handy. So I have to buy two vaults, which they're out of on Amazon, or their food before I can put it back there. Oh, in this drawer here. And then this is just all like to-go containers. All right, are you ready to show them the stairs? Do you feel good about it? Kind of boring, huh? Huh? I feel like it's your way of like fake adulting. You're like, I drink coffee. Oh my God. It gets too cold. It gets to a point where it gets too cold to drink. And then I, sometimes I warm it up and I finish it. <laughs> yes, I do. 